um, session. Um, today we're going to do a little recap. So last week we looked a little bit at some shapes. Um, today we're going to sort of uh, explore shapes a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to run through the different um, levels that we have got available for you. Um, so first one here is a space um, or 2D space firework rocket. Okay, so the idea is if you have a little look um, through this one here, you can see that it is actually made up from different 2D shapes. There is a question at the top here, it's which shapes can you see? So um, I don't want you just to match. I'm gonna just reduce this in size so you can see the whole things there. But what I want you to do is you select the shapes from here, you'll cut them out. Um, you'll, once you've cut them out, you're gonna need to stick them um, and glue them on. But see if you can actually state what the shape is actually called as well, okay? So uh, for example, at the top here, we have got a three-sided shape. So it's got three sides, it's got three points. The tricky mass word for that is vertice. But so three sides, three points, um, what shape do we think that one could be? We have got another one here, which actually if I go around the outline, you can see there, um, and that one down here is colored in red. So if we have a look, we've got one, two, three, four sides, one, two, three, four corners. Two of the sides are longer than the other two. Okay, so this one and this one are both the same, this one and this one are both the same, but these two, the top and the bottom ones, are actually longer. Um, so what shape is that? What is that shape called? Okay, and then you can see if you do that, um, you'll be able to actually make up this picture here. So we do want to know what the shape is called. See if you can count how many sides, see if you can count how many corners each of the shapes that you use has, and you'll need to do some very careful cutting as well. Um, so that one there, and you can see there are some different styles of rockets that you can actually use here. This one, it's crazy, that's got a slightly different shape in the middle, hasn't it? Um, but you can see there are lots and lots of different types there. So it is for you to have some fun with making these, but I would also like you to see if you can count how many sides it's got, how many corners it's got, what you think the shape is called, maybe see um, if you can tell your adult who is around um, what this shape is called. Um, so we have got um, some more here. Uh, so this is the uh, next group. Now what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to reduce this slightly. I'm very sorry, I couldn't get this to actually um, oh, maybe I can. There we go. Um, so this one here is you are looking at um, some uh, 2D shapes here again. And you can see you've not only got the shapes, but you've got the color of the shapes. So you will need to very, very carefully um, see if you can continue on at these patterns. Some of them are more tricky than others. Um, if you have a little look here, not only have you got uh, the shape, um, but you've got a different color and you've got different sizes as well. So you do need to look at this carefully. Look carefully yet again, the same as with the um, other group. What um, can you tell me about the shape? Can you tell me what the shape is called? How many sides does it have? How many corners or vertices uh, does this shape have? Um, and you will need to try, if you have got one, uh, to try and draw and continue on these patterns, um, being very careful when you draw the shapes and actually using a ruler okay um, and then for our last group here uh, we have got uh, these bits here for you so this is first of all is just a little guide to the um, shapes that we've got um, you can see that here we've got this shape here and it says sphere is that correct do you agree with that one there cuboid cube square based pyramid cylinder cone so can you actually match them up you could uh, either cut it out and rearrange these onto a separate bit of paper um, or uh, you could draw lines across um, but if you do the lines you need to try and make sure it's really nice and neat um, and that yet again you are trying to use a ruler um, for this please okay so which ones can you match up and you can then use that to help you with this next bit here 
Um, in fact, this bit could actually help you with the other bit as well. So this one here, you are looking at the properties of the 3D shape. Okay, so it says, look carefully at the properties of these 3D shapes. Sorry about banging the table then. Um, write your results in the table. So this one here, so we've got cube, number of straight edges, number of curved edges. Does this a cube have any curved edges? Number of vertices. So remember, if you're listening to the video earlier on, a vertice is a corner or a point. Okay, the mathematical definition of a vertice is where two or more edges meet. Okay, so where two or more edges meet. Think very carefully about this one down at the bottom about the cone. Does a cone have any vertices and you might want to sort of think well actually you know maybe I think it does maybe I think it doesn't what are your reasons behind that remember that definition where two or more edges meet okay and what you can do is you can put any questions you've got, any queries you've got um, down into the uh, sort of message section of the class page. Um, you can um, also have um, a little look when we do our Zoom session on a Thursday. So that will be for you to ask any questions, but also um, sort of show us your work as well. And we can kind of give you some little feedback. Remember, we have got the folders that you can drop work back in on. Uh, you can have pictures uh, taken of your work that you've completed. You can email it back into us. A whole number of different ways you can get your work back for us. And then you can get feedback um, during these Zoom sessions that we will be setting up. The first one um, should be coming out to you on Thursday. And that will be for someone for, or people from each class to come in and join. Does it roll? Does it stack? Okay. And we're not talking about if you are some magician and you, you can just uh, find it absolutely amazing, you're amazingly good at stacking things. We're asking the question of does it stack um, if you are kind of, you know, would I be able to stack it? And you know that sometimes I will uh, be a little bit clumsy with the stuff um, that I'm doing there. So I hope um, this helps you out. Um, it will be really, really good, you know, to sort of see some of your work coming back to us. Uh, so we can give you the feedback, uh, let you know how you're doing. And remember, if you've got any questions, if you've got any queries about stuff, then we can do that for you as well. Brilliant. OK, take care, guys. Um, and I look forward to seeing you hopefully in a Zoom session. Uh, but most of all, you know, let's look forward to a time when we can actually all be back together again as well. Cool. Thank you very much. And I'll see you later on.